What what do you hate so much about Yoshi's Island? Um. Now back to GI Joe. I don't hate it. I just don't understand why people go nuts over it. It's like I don't know. It's just like warm milk. I don't understand the hype. It's all right. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just I'm not saying that as someone that was like with these. 21st century eyes. Still have my 20th century eyes. It's not like a graphics thing. It's just like I thought it was all right. <laughs> Nothing more. <laughs> sort of lost track of what you were talking about there for a minute. What were you talking about? Uh, I was talking about how you're a, a Hitler apologist. But no, not again. Yeah. Uh... I don't know, you have a long history of not liking thoughts, not liking things. It's not even that I don't like it, it's like, I I'm neither weak. like it or nor dislike it. I am well known for, <laughs> for being a vocal not liker of things. Yeah. What do you need me to not like or need to know about why I hate a particular thing? Well, why are you giving me shit about uh, Yoshi's Island? You don't like it either. Well, yeah. Wait, like do you want to know why I'm giving you shit or why I don't like Yoshi's Island? Uh, well, let's do both. Okay. Uh, I'm giving you shit because you need to be more secure in your opinions. Uh, you need to be more like, yes, this is my opinion. Basically, no, you that need to is be my more opinion, of an opinionated though. asshole. My opinion is that it's like okay. <laughs> uh, as for why I'm not a fan of it, is okay. I think the game looks really good. I think it sounds really good. I mean, they use sampled baby crying. Uh, I think the boss battles are really interesting, but I think the core gameplay mechanics are really boring and super repetitive. And therefore, you know what, I don't enjoy it as much. Like, repetitive gameplay mechanics happen in all games, especially of this era. I mean, this is their sixth Mega Man game, where it's basically the same, roughly the same mechanic, you know, just different color palettes on things. But... That gameplay mechanic I just didn't find fun. Therefore, the repetitive nature of it sucked butts. Like, what gameplay aspect did you not like? Just like the whole... Eggs? Yeah, like the throwing the eggs mechanic I didn't enjoy. I didn't find the level design to be too much fun. The whole escorting baby Mario and the crying... It's that crying sound. My biggest problem is, like, I don't really... Ugh care to find all the coins yeah. and the uh, and all the other shit. I just want to play the game. <laughs> yeah, there's a bit of a collect collecting going on there for sure. Oh good, I have another life. But, yeah. So that's why I don't like it that much. I think that game is drop-dead gorgeous and I think the boss mechanics are really cool. But the actual game, nah. Yeah, maybe like if I played it when it came out I'd have a different opinion, but yeah. like... I didn't... It just didn't grab me for... Good. Uh, I liked... I only had one hit. That was just oh. an experiment. I like, uh... Donkey Kong Country a lot. That came out the same year. Yeah. I don't really know why I like that game as much as I do, but... I, I think it's... I like the platforming more in that game. Um... I like... The way it looks. And I like, um... Like, that's not basically a giant escort thing. Like, you know, if you get hit, you just take some damage. There's not this extra, like, oh, now I've got to deal with this annoying sound effect and go catch this stupid baby, and... That's sort of well, all that stuff. technically, sort. it's a Donkey Kong escort mission, because everyone just plays Diddy. Well, yeah, of course, but... I kind of want to switch controllers. I say your button's acting really fucked up. <laughs> do we have? I have. Some. I've got another one in oh, there. Oh, you okay? But I'm just like with the Nintendo. I'm always like scared to do that. Oh yeah. Because it might stall out. Yeah. 
Well, it looks like you're playing with a handicap then, bitch. Yeah, sorry, it's only Mega Man 6. Mega Man 6 is actually, like, pretty easy. Twisters. Mega Man games go. Yeah, that seems pretty easy so far. Wind Man. Well, except for that, like, one part that I died, like, two or three times. Well, we don't talk about that. But you didn't even notice, you weren't even watching. Nope. I'm watching you beat up endangered animal robots. Yeah. Look, pandas deserve to be endangered, okay? Okay, they, Mr. Hitler apologies. They don't fuck. <laughs> they live in an area where their primary source of food does not grow. Like, are you starting to see some problems with the panda here? Oh. <laughs> Whee! I love this bit with the fans. Oh, that's cool. Mega Man always had like a lot of cool things to mix it up. Yeah, little mechanics. Yeah, Mega Man, this is a series I never really wanted to change. <laughs> yeah. I would could play like the games like the first six literally forever. What's your opinion on Zero as a character? Oh, why'd I jump? <laughs> uh, what do you mean? Like, do you like him? Her, it? Like, more than a is? friend? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't care. <laughs> He's just like Mega Man X Proto Man, right? Yeah. So, I don't really think of him as a character. He's just red. He's the red one. I like, uh, I like Sigma as a villain. He's just bald, uh, Dr. Wily. But also giant floating mechanical head. Yeah. I mean, his boss fights were tougher, I guess, no but way. like... I don't know, I'm not even really a Mega Man X person. <laughs> I've, uh, played through Mega Man X 1 to 3. I, like, I love Mega Man X, the first one, but like... I didn't really care for 2 or 3. Mm. They didn't even have good soundtracks, which was really ast astonishing. One had such a good soundtrack, and then like two and three, it's just like kind of like DuckTales two and uh, Rescue Rangers two, where they just have like nondescript soundtracks. Yeah. yeah. That's probably a controversial opinion, but I've like. I think I've even said that on, uh, on one of our Mega Man runs before, that I'm not really, like, an X person. Yeah, yeah, you have mentioned it. I mean, at some point we'll take a look at some of those games, but... I played the first one. Yeah, yeah, we'll play the first one. Two and three, I'm just... just not into. <laughs> Although I've heard four is really good, but... Mm. Yeah. I'd play that, I just don't want to spend a lot of money on it. <laughs> You'd buy that for a dollar? Yeah, a couple. <laughs> what is the most amount of money you would spend on a copy of Mega Man X2? Um, I would not, because I know what the price is, so I would just straight up not buy it. I'm just gonna check the price. He's looking it up. Yeah, I'm looking it up. Uh, Mega Man X3. Well, Mega Man X is 42 Canadian. Yeah. For cart alone. Yeah, which I've got and I paid considerably less than that for. Oh, Jesus Christ, I didn't even hit the jump button. Why'd I go all the way to the ceiling? Uh, hate. What? I go to hate. price charts. Oh, you want price chart? eBay? No, price chart. Because then you can have a chart instead of just looking up individual options so you can see the trend over time. Oh. It's a good thing I got that extra man before I died. Yeah. I should probably be using RushJet more. Oh yeah, I want to show you how RushJet works in this yeah. game. Yeah. I've already used it, but you weren't paying attention. He's begging his... for my opinion. Or apology. Oh. Yes, Master. Show me what is right. Oh. Take it in the face from that panda. Oh, that's kind of neat. Yeah. It's like 
<laughs> a jetpack. That's what I really liked about this one. Yeah. Well, this brush is a jetpack and a boxing glove. As opposed to a dog and a dog. Yeah. So, uh, price charting his Mega Man X is loose, 26 bucks, complete 61. Uh, X2. Loose 85, complete 238. Yeah. And X3. Now, there is a reason for that price discrepancy. What is the reason for that price discrepancy? Uh, they use special hardware. It's, it's similar to how, you know, Nintendo game, Super Nintendo games had, like, uh, Star Fox had this Super FX chip. Mm -hmm. It's a similar type of chip, but it's Konami. Uh, it's a little graphic processor. Hmm. Uh, what's this guy's weakness? Uh, an X3 is loose, 210, complete 400. Yeah. New 67.99. Although of the three, I think X... Or, of the two non-Mega Man X1s, Mega Man X3 is probably the better one. So what you're saying is X gonna give it to you? Uh, yes. Okay. Wow, this is like the easiest boss. Yeah, this is this is embarrassing so far. These are the best robots in the world. I the best living robots. I already killed Oh yeah. I've killed like Airman and Yeah. Yeah. Forty of their <laughs> best and brightest. I got with Storm. Man, back in November two thousand seven, Mega Man X three was only forty three bucks. Yeah. And then retro gaming got popular again. Okay. I think overall I might like this one better than five. Yeah. Cause that, but I really like five. It's just the whole rush thing is just really cool. Hmm. Because remember how shitty Rush Jet was in Mega Man 5? Yeah. Once they made it so, like, auto goes forward, it became so pointless. In Mega Man 3, it was amazing. You couldn't even hover with Rush Jet in the last one. Yeah. <coughs> well, maybe it was, like, a little too good in Mega Man 3. Yeah. Especially when you figured out if you hopped when you're on it, you didn't lose fuel. Yeah. Makes that Needle Man stage, like, bearable. <laughs> oh, it's a capsule machine! Capumon! Quick, put some more quarters or 100 yen no coins into it. I don't think you can jump out of your slide in this one. That's a... well, it's not a problem, it's just... Interesting. There, the little differences between each one of them for uh, for controls, things like that, you don't notice until you start like spurging on the game. I love that guy. I forget what his name is. I think little, it's Ed. Little hat guy. Yeah. Might be Eddie. We Ed. Ed two oh nine. Rush that's so broken. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it just refills on its own. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, that's also another really sick thing about yeah. uh, Mega Man 6. I still, like, I like 6 better than 7, I would say. Yeah. There's a lot of people that just recently have been like, oh, 7's not so bad. It's not, like, awful. I just don't like it as much as 1 through 6. Hmm. It's mainly... Everything feels squished. Oh. Because they made the Mega Man sprite so much bigger. And, like, all the sprites. It's taking up more real estate on the screen. Yeah. yeah. So everything feels, like, all enclosed in. Mm. Like, look how much headspace yeah. um, Mega Man has. So, like, you can jump really high. Yeah, I'm gonna go down there. That looks like it's gonna lead to an E tank or something. Mm -hmm. 
Quaff. Quaff the elixir. I'm quaffing here! Oh, hold on. Stop it. Um. There we um. Go. I don't mind dying, but I want to die with dignity. <laughs> no one dies with dignity. Because you forget how to dig when you're dead. Yep. Also, you usually void your bowels. Mm hmm. Shit yourself silly when you die. Where am I? Is this Nightman? Yes. See if what storm works on him. Come in. Oh, Tomahawk Man. Oh. I would say that wind would work well against Tomahawk Man, because you could blow his tomahawks away. See if plant works? Oh, it's plant. It also seems really unhealthy for you. Yeah, that. Yeah, that. It's fine. That bit where you just died. I was just fucking... <laughs> hey man, whatever you're into, okay? I think most of these bosses I can beat without. Uh, it, it might actually be better to just beat without. Because this guy, if you time your jump, you can do that. He's gonna be a dick now. Is he throwing three tomahawks at you? No, that's his, like, headscarf. Oh. Oh, there is a tomahawk, okay. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh. That hasn't happened in a while. Yeah, that's a hard stall. Okay, we'll be back later with Dropkick Gaming. I'm gonna see if I can find a password generator and get us back to this point. <laughs> I'm Dr. Drop... Drop? D what? I'm the jive turkey baster in your mom last night. Okay, see ya. Bye!